Welcome to Allen Berry Reports TV. I'm your host, Allen Berry Labucan from AllenBerryReports.com. Uh, today we have a new installment of our uh, In the News segment. Uh, this is the show that we talk about resource companies with recent developments. Um, on today's show, we have uh, one of our favorite uh, copper uh, companies as well as one of our favorite. Um, uh, gold companies and they both have very large projects uh, and uh, we're going to talk a lot about their recent news in uh, in today's show before we get started we always like to start out with our thank yous and uh, um, you know we use uh, youtube.com and ustream.tv uh, to produce and broadcast these shows for you to watch at your leisure uh, if you look above me you'll notice uh, if you're watching the show on our website you'll notice above me there's a uh, an icon there for the um, uh, both those uh, websites and uh, you can find all of our past shows on those two websites uh, on our chat we have our Allen Berry reports channels on those websites and uh, also on our website if you look to the left and right of me uh, you'll notice that we have um, uh, banners uh, those banner sponsors are really important in us being able to bring these shows to you and uh, if you'd like to do some homework on those companies just click on the banners it'll take you to their websites where you'll find plenty of information uh, about the uh, work that these companies are doing and their projects and um, that's a great place to do some homework uh, also you the viewers uh, you, you know, if you didn't show up, we wouldn't have a reason to do the show. So thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, we'll get right to it on today. On uh, the first company today is a company called Nevada Copper Corp. Uh, on the disclosure, we're not shareholders of the company. Uh, the past coverage of them, we started covering them in April 6th, 2008 in the 17th edition of our Allenberry Reports email newsletter. If you look above me there, you'll see a report section on our website. In there you can find that 17th edition. Uh, we've also had them on uh, several of our past shows on our Ustream channel. Uh, you would look for the July 27th and the August 18th shows. And then on our YouTube channel, you would look for um, June the 2nd, October the 5th, and November the 16th and we talked about them on all those shows their website is nevadacopper.com nice uh, easy one there n-e-v-a-d-a-c-o-p-p-e-r.com uh, in fact I'm just pulling that website up right now uh, the first news that we're looking for is from uh, November the 25th um, in that uh, press release the headline is Nevada Copper announces expansion of drilling program and selection of Tetra Tech for definitive feasibility. Uh, they, uh, they announced that uh, they will move forward with a 20,000 meter drill program commencing in December which will focus on the expansion of existing resources as well as testing several targets on its uh, 22 square kilometer pumpkin hollow property. They also have a map attached there and uh, that on that map they've got a really good outline of the uh, various targets that they're talking about so you can find that uh, on the website. There's a good quote from their uh, uh, senior geologist Henry Olin who commented and I quote, now that we have successfully delineated the resources necessary for the definitive feasibility study in our recently completed 50,000 meter drilling program we can now shift our expansion focus toward testing several additional targets on the property. The North Deposit continues to grow with uh, the newly discovered mineralization and is a good example of the robust nature of the mineralizing system at the Pumpkin Hollow property." End quote. So that's uh, the one news release we wanted to talk about. The next one that we wanted to talk about was on uh, December the 7th, or sorry, December the 2nd. Uh, the headline from that one is um, Nevada Copper announces further high grade drill results of 78.5 feet of 3.17% copper. Um, they have uh, a, a bunch of details there about the um, drilling uh, 20,000 meter uh, step out and expansion um, uh, recently announced will be underway. Uh, they talk about uh, some of the recent uh, drilling results. Um, there's a, uh, and 
and uh, you can see they got a table there with all the various different holes that they recently announced some really good grades in there uh, three meters of uh, 1.3 three percent copper 2.6 meters of 1.66 percent copper then they have uh, that uh, and, and the one above there uh, the, in the headline 23.9 meters of 3.17 percent copper they've got some drill results from their south deposit and their north deposit um, and uh, so there's that's uh, all the key information from those two press releases that we wanted to talk about um, what uh, why we like Nevada copper so much is one they've got a really large uh, resource of cop we st first started following them when they were having uh, drilling success that's always why we start following any company. Then uh, the fact that their project, their Pumpkin Hollow project is in uh, Western Nevada. Nevada's a very mining friendly jurisdiction. Uh, this project had a actually seen quite a bit of uh, historic work, but that work was done when copper prices were much lower. And uh, now that they're much better, uh, and the fact that Nevada Copper went in and did a, a whole bunch of uh, a great deal of uh, additional drilling and had it have uh, significantly advanced the project um, for example they announced their uh, resource calculation uh, in the measured and indicated categories they have 5.6 billion pounds of copper and uh, and if you count and if you add in the inferred uh, categories as well you're looking at about 9.3 billion pounds of copper so it's a very big uh, resource what's kind of interesting about it too is that they have sort of an, o an open pit target which is a lower grade but uh, high tonnage near surface deposit and then they have a uh, higher grade deeper deposit that uh, that you know those that combination gives them a lot of flexibility uh, in their ex in their um, uh, economic evaluation uh, uh, about this project, so it's a it's a really good uh, uh, situation. And then they've also done a uh, preliminary economic assessment on the project. Um, so the company is uh, very busy uh, advancing their Pumpkin Hollow project, and uh, now they're doing a whole bunch of new work. Uh, one of the key things that we're quite excited about in that new work program is the um, uh, is their uh, exploration drilling. As I mentioned earlier when talking about their recent press release, they have a good map in there that shows you some of the exploration targets. So uh, they've got a lot of work to do to advance the project. They're going to be doing a lot of drilling on advancing and exploration. So uh, they'll have a lot of news to talk about in the coming months. So. Uh, Nevada Copper, the uh, best place to do some homework on them is on their website. And uh, as I said earlier, that's nevadacopper.com. So uh, that's a wrap on our chat regarding Nevada Copper. Um, excuse me. Uh, the second company we're going to talk about uh, today is Rubicon Minerals. Uh, just uh, Rubicon, uh, we're not share disclosure, we're not shareholders of the company. Our past coverage includes that they are uh, uh, one of our featured companies in our in our email newsletter, the Allen Berry Reports. We started coverage of them on September the 28th, 2008, which was our 19th edition. Um, we've had them on our Ustream uh, shows on July the 27th and September the 2nd, and then also on our YouTube shows on our, our on our YouTube channel on October the 28th and November the 23rd. Uh, their website is rubiconminerals.com. That's R-U-B-I-C-O-N-M-I-N-E-R-A-L-S.com. Um, I'm just going to pull their website up right now. I've got it up. And the, head, uh, the news that we are going to talk about was from November the 29th. Um, and uh, in the headlines from that, Rubicon announces 4.4 4 million ounce inferred gold resource estimate grading 20.1 grams per ton gold at its Phoenix Gold project in Red Lake, Ontario. Uh, they went on that uh, Rubicon is pleased to provide a national instrument 43101 compliant inferred mineral resource estimate for the F2 gold system 
part of its 100% Don Phoenix Gold project uh, in the heart of the prolific Red Lake Gold District of Ontario. Uh, the inferred resource uh, is 6.2 million tons with a grade of 20.6 or 20.1 grams per ton gold, which works out to 0.59 ounces per ton, a very high re, uh, high grade resource, and it contains uh, four just a little over four million ounces of gold. There's a really good quote in the uh, press release from um, uh, David Adamson, uh, who is the uh, president and CEO, and he, and he stated, and I quote, "We are very pleased with these initial results." They demonstrate that the F2 gold system is already a significant size gold deposit. Importantly, the gold grade of 20.1 grams per ton gold is high compared to most major gold deposits around the world and is consistent with the overall Red Lake Camp average grade, which is Red Lake's key advantage. Our objective now through our ongoing delineation program is to upgrade part of this large inferred resource move towards development and to continue to expand the gold system. Underground development on the project has already cross-cut mineralized zones at the 305 meter level and delineation drilling is underway. Photographs of the new zones are available on the company's website at rubiconminerals.com." Uh, and so, uh, and then also in the press release, they had some really good details about the uh, geological potential to expand uh, that uh, and grow that four million ounce um, resource. And uh, they talk about how uh, what they're looking at as they go down to depth. Lots of really good details in there. You can find that all in the um, uh, company's press release. Um, some of the reasons that we like uh, Rubicon, um, you know, first of all. Uh, what always gets us started whenever we're looking at any project company is uh, what the truth machine or the drill rig is showing. Uh, we got in, we got covering this project really early because of the high grade uh, intersections that they were coming across in their uh, Phoenix Gold Project discovery. Um, uh, it's in Red Lake, Ontario, which is one of our favorite camps due to the high grade nature of the deposits that. Uh, uh, they spoke about in their uh, press release um, and uh, and it's growing you know they're doing a lot of underground working now and from those underground workings they can use that for exploration purposes and could also be used down the road for production purposes um, what's exciting about this is in their um, and their potential that they talk about their geological potential a lot of that to bring that from potential to reality will require a lot more drilling and from the underground workings it'll give them easier access so they can rapidly drill uh, into that uh, into those deeper targets so we're quite excited about uh, that and all the work that the company's really doing uh, on their project um, a great place to do your homework is on their website at um, uh, rubiconminerals.com. So that's a wrap on our uh, In the News segment today. Before closing, we have to stress that this show and our reports are for information purposes only. We aren't making buying or selling recommendations. It's important for you to do your own homework and speak with your financial advisors before making any investment decisions. We're always trying to grow our audience and any efforts you can make to uh, help us uh, get the word out about our reports, our website and our shows is greatly appreciated. We also really appreciate you taking the time to watch the shows. We know that everybody is busy these days and we strive to bring you a show that uh, saves you time and brings you helpful high quality information. Our next show uh, will be tomorrow. We're going to do another of our uh, week in review kind of shows and um, the best way to keep track of all of our various shows and when we put our work out is to be on our email uh, uh, email list. Uh, you can subscribe above to that. We send out notes whenever we uh, have anything going on as far as our work goes and there's no charge for those reports. Um, and uh, so we hope you can join us for our next show. Um, you can find all of our work on our website at allenberryreports.com. We hope to see you soon. Have a great day.